In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Facebook Pixel into your ClickFunnels account and how to trigger the view, lead and initiate checkout events. If it's the first time you've come across this channel, we make videos teaching people how to make money online and how to videos. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out on any of our future videos. If you'd like to follow along with this video, you are going to need a ClickFunnels account. If you don't have a ClickFunnels account, then I'll leave a link in the description for a 14 day free trial. You will need a uh, Facebook ads account and you will need to set up your, uh, so your pixel will need to be already set up. Uh, I'm not going to be going over how to set up a pixel in this video, but if enough people request it, then I will make a video explaining how to do that in the near future. The last what, um, thing that I want to talk about is the Facebook Pixel Helper. This isn't required, but it is really helpful. It's a um, Google Chrome extension. And basically, once you install it, when you go to your um, website or your funnel that you've installed a pixel on, you will be able to see if it's fired su successfully or if it's failed and it will tell you why it's failed and then you can work out how to fix that. OK, um, so let's get on with the video. And the first thing we need to do is go into our uh, Facebook ads account. If you click the top, uh, if you click the button with the three uh, lines in the top left hand corner and then click pixels. Then once this page loads, we then need to choose the pixel that we want to work with. So we'll go for this one. OK, so once the pixel page is loaded, we now want to click set up. And we're going to be manually installing the code ourselves. So we want to use this middle one. So for anyone that doesn't deal with code quite often, this can look quite scary, but, but it's quite uh, simple because we don't actually have to change anything. We're literally just copying and pasting. OK, so first we need to do is go down to section two and just click copy to clipboard and open a uh, notepad or any word processor because um, basically we're going to copy the code into a text file so that we don't have to keep coming back to Facebook when we're, we're working through our funnel steps. So we're going to paste our main Facebook tracking code <clears throat> and then we click continue and then we want to get the code for the lead event so we click copy to keyboard and then we're going to um, paste into our uh, text file and we want the initiate checkout as well. So we're going to copy that and paste that in our file there. So this is all of the code uh, that we're going to need. Um, so once once we've set up um, all this code in our funnel, you will need to come back and um, fire off the test just, just to make sure that Facebook are seeing that it's working. OK, so open your ClickFunnels account and choose the funnel that you want to uh, install the Facebook pixel on. At this stage, you need to decide if you want to install the Facebook uh, pixel across all of your funnel steps or on individual pages. I'm going to be covering this um, by installing it over all pages but if you do want to do it on just a single um, step then you just go to edit page general and then um, tr tracking code and everything else is the same throughout the video so that's the only difference so the first thing we need to do is go into settings and then you'll see head tracking code so I've already got the code in there, but for the sake of this uh, demo, I'll get rid of it all. So this this is how it will look for you. There'll, there'll be nothing in there. So go to your text file and copy from the end Facebook pixel comment to the top one. And then paste it in. Scroll to the bottom and click Save and Update. So once that's saving 
saved and up updated. That is the main um, Facebook pixel code um, installed across all of your steps. And that also installs the page view event as well across all your pages. So you don't have to worry about doing that. So the next step we're going to be, uh, sorry, the event we're going to be looking at is the lead event. So the lead event is really handy. So if someone opts in, let's go back to my opt-in page. So once someone fills out uh, my opt-in form, I basically want to track that someone has made that lead. So sorry that I have gained a lead. So you need to work out where they go to after they've opted in. So in this example, they go from my opt-in to the thank you page. So on my thank you page, that is where I'm going to want to install my lead page because someone's only got to the thank you page because they've given me their name and email address in the opt-in. So you go to edit page and then you go to settings and then tracking code. I've already got the code in there, but I'll take it out just for the demo. So I copy that code there, which is the lead code, and I paste it in, close it down, and then save it. Um, I mentioned at the, um, at the start of the ClickFunnels uh, section that if you wanted just to install on one page, then you need to put all the code in uh, that one page. So I'll show you now how you would do that. Um, so you'd paste your main code there, and then you would take this line here, which is the event for the lead, get rid of those tags. And then you would go under the page view and click paste. And that is literally it. And then now you've got page view and lead uh, event firing on that page. So I just set that back to how it was. So this is how it should look for you if you've installed the pixel across all pages. So you can now close that and then click save. So now we want to um, install the um, initiate checkout um, of event. So on my uh, sales page, uh, this click here to join takes them to a order page. So I want to track every time that this has been clicked. But I don't want the event to um, trigger as soon as someone comes to the page. I want it to run when the button has been clicked. If you do want it to run just as the page loads, then you do exactly what we did before and go to settings, tracking code. And then you would literally put that in there. And that's how you would do it. But if you do want it on click of the button, I will show you that now. So what we need to do is we need to know the unique identifier of this button. So if you click the button and then click get CSS and info, this is our unique identifier. So we want to copy that. And then we want to make a record of this because we will need this in a minute. So that's our button unique identifier. We then need to go into settings, tracking code, and then the we want to put it in the footer code. So in general principles of coding, any JavaScript, ideally you want to um, run at the bottom of the page so that everything loads first and then it loads this. So this code I will leave in the description. So what you'll see in the description is just that. So basically all that you need to do now is go into your text file and copy everything apart from the hash and then paste it into the box. So all that all that this is saying, this might look confusing, but all this is saying is when the button, which is that one there, has been clicked, do do that. So it's firing the initiate checkout event. So once you're happy with that, click the X to close it, and then you would click save, and that's everything done now. So that's the view event done.
the lead event and the initiate checkout event on on click of a, a button if you are a ClickFunnels uh, affiliate or you're thinking of becoming a ClickFunnels affiliate, make sure you check out the link in the description um, for the affiliate training. The training will teach you everything you need to know to start making um, sales online and getting members. If you found this video useful, please consider um, liking and subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.